Brad Blanks here on the red carpet for Game of Thrones, the biggest night for HBO, the final season. Sansa woman, will you wake up in like 20 years and she'll pop into your head and go, oh, she wasn't a bad chick. She was a good lady. Yeah, probably. I think I'll think of her every day. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I will. Right. She's been with me every day for 10 years. Yeah. She's going to stay with me, I what think. One of the parts about her that you love. Yeah, yeah. I just love her resilience. Yep. I think that's one of her like most redeeming qualities is just how she can go through just about anything, put under the most arduous tests, and yet she comes out on top and stronger than ever. I just described you as a butt kicker. She's a butt kicker. Yes. yes. Do you feel that you are the butt kicker of the Stark family now? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, we all kick a lot of butt. Yeah. But you physically kick butt. Yeah. I think I like emotionally. Right. On the butt. She puts the foot on the ass. I don't do that. No. She's the butt kicker. You're the butt kicker. I'm the butt kicker. Yeah. Did it feel good to become the butt kicker in life throughout the season? Honestly, it's been a dream of mine for a really long time, and uh, yeah, I'm really proud to say that I am the butt kicker. Ready to fight? You're yeah. ready to rock? Yes, yes, yeah. I know. There's uh, there's big battles up ahead, yeah. but um, no, we've become quite a, quite a solid band now. I think we're quite a force to be reckoned with, and it's what's happened really in, the, in all the seasons. We've got to the final, the end game, and we're all in the kind of same storyline now. So as actors, that's fun, because yep. you're all hanging out with each other. Littlefinger's still beloved, you know, even though he was mm. infamous in a way. Yeah. Really. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to play a guy who can do such bad things and be loved by so many. Right. How does Varys fit in then? From a, if you, what can you tell us? How does he fit into this last season? Does he know what side to be on? Like who? I think, he, you know, there's an argument that he's done his job by bringing the, the important factions together. So maybe he'll be more peripheral this year. Maybe he won't be as involved. Or maybe he will. You'll have to wait and see. Yeah, take me back to the moment where you're there, you're uh, at King's Landing, you're in the boat, and the soldiers come up to you, and you pull out what you're... You've got to make out you're a trader, a humble with the, trader. Uh, with the fermented crab. Yeah, the fermented crab meat. You know what? When I read that, when I got that script, and I, I, I read that particular piece, I went, oh, my God, the genius of that. Because what they were doing was put, putting him back, taking him out of it and putting him back to when he used to be a smuggler. And you could see him... Doing the old soft shoe shuffles and, and, and doing his thing. Does and it work? Does, yeah. Does, does, does fermented crab meat work? I'll let you know later. Right. So you haven't doubled it yourself to give yourself the old pump up? Not yet. Right. Not yet. Gotcha. Yeah, that was the Viagra of Westeros, wasn't That's it? That's exactly what it is. For the viewers out there. You missed that. <laughs> now, mate, Bron, how's he feeling heading into this? He's, he's good. He had a sense of confidence in the last few episodes of last, se you know, last season. Well, I, I like that about Bron. He's always had a sense of confidence in who he is, hasn't he? And... Um, He's just willing to back himself. Uh, and I love that that assuredness that he's going to get what he wants yeah. and that he's worth as much as, you know, yeah. the Lord or the King next to him. How are you feeling? This is it? Yeah, you, you're done. It's relieved. in the can. You're relieved, yeah? Yeah, I'm, because I'm in bits. I've had years of this throne's been bashed and poked and prodded and carrying bodies. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest. You're killed by a big woman? so-called nearly killed I should nearly say. killed and they were, they, oh I had a year off but I had to lie I had to lie that, that I was dead and they put you back. where do they put you when you have a year off they lock you in a hotel in, in, no in this chest they just lock me up throw 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 a chicken at me occasionally your girl she's last year she had some she created turning points your you know Melisandre she creates turning points in the show I don't doesn't know why she? you call her a girl yeah, yeah, sorry, is that not no one has said that before uh, bitch I've one. heard a lot <laughs> Bitch. Well, look. Red bitch. Yeah, I'm sad what she did to the little girl on the yeah, flame. That wasn't nice. No. I'm looking forward that to when. Doesn't yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to when Davos catches up with you. I don't know how that's going to go. Who knows yeah. if that's going to happen? Yeah. I can't oh, say right. anything. I mean, things happen sometimes, and they, sometimes they don't. Did you go to acting school? Did we, we were an actor? No, no, you I, just I'm turned not, up. I didn't. Yeah. So they just picked you and went. This I, guy can do they, love scenes without an old fella. No, they didn't even pick me. Oh, I literally just turned up on set one day and they were like, yeah, you'll do, you'll yeah, do. You, fine. You, you gotta play a, a guy with nothing down there. Yeah, you got no, they're like, you're a bit short, a bit yeah. skinny, but. No balls. Fine, yes. no balls. <laughs> You've got no balls and that means that you can have the job. Jacob is just, you could not ask for a better like person to play against and he's just, such an awesome person and he's my homie man right, yeah. we're family now yeah. people c celebrating your love making skills for a guy that doesn't have a weapon um i, d I not that i know of right. no i haven't 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> he knew that there were, you know, many ways to pleasure a woman, so there you go. Grey worm, what a man. Thumbs up. Did you know you'd have that sort of impact when you cocked it? I mean, when I, when I read the script, I knew it was going to be epic. But um, I, I never expected the, the global reach and, and, and the... Still to this day, people come up to me and tell me what they were doing. It's like it's like when a royal family member dies or something. It's like, I'm still here. I'm still alive, really. Was that a nice moment when they called you up and said, you're back on here, Richard? Definitely. It was, it was really interesting that uh, that him and Jon Snow had that little bonding moment beyond the wall. Yeah. And when they realized that, you know, they're, they're both destined just to serve, or, you know, that th their life is not meant to be glorious or happy, it's... It's just that they have a purpose, and, and it might not be uh, the happiest life, but it's, it's a noble one and a good cause. But the big moment was, of course, exploding Oberyn's head. He had you, but... Yeah, that was, um, that was a big moment. Can you put your hands on my head and see how you would do it? If you... uh, how would the hound kill me if I ran into you somewhere? Yeah. Uh, I would just... Uh, just grab your head and twist it. Oh, just, just that. Yeah.